Here's how to change the background music in Minecraft 1.21 Java Edition. Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to make this resource pack to change your background music. Let's switch over to the desktop and get to work on this. Here we go. The first thing you'll need is a place to build your resource pack in. I just made a folder on my C drive and I named it Pack. Nothing special about that, just an empty folder. In here, you want to have your new music files. I have just this one as an example. And you'll also want to have a folder in here to build your pack. This is my finished resource pack. Let's go in here and take a look at this. We'll also need some more folders over here. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. We need a pack.mc meta file and also a pack PNG. But let's start back here with the song file. And the first thing you have to do is you need to convert your song file over into the .og file format. If you want an online converter, I like this one. It's convertio.co. Click on choose files. There's our sound file right here. Choose open. We'll convert this over to the AUG format right there. Now there are some options in here, some settings. You can set your quality setting right in here. I'll leave mine on auto. In most cases, a low setting is better for Minecraft because Minecraft likes real small files. You can leave the audio channels at no change. Frequency, I like setting this at 48,000 hertz, which is what all the rest of the songs are inside of Minecraft. And volume set that at no change. Choose OK. It's all set to go. Let's go ahead, we'll click on convert, upload your file, and then does that conversion. When it's through, hit the download button and then save that into your working folder. Now I prefer using a downloaded software for this. You have much more control that way. And the one that I like to use is Audacity. Let me bring up the Audacity program. And we'll convert this over to the AUG format. And here's Audacity. Again, this is a free download. Just do a search for Audacity and you'll find that. And the easy way to get a file in here is just do drag and drop. So I'll go over here. I'll take this MP3 file, drag it over and drop it like that. And it comes in. And then go up here to the file menu, come down to export audio. There's the file name up here. Change this to AUG Vorbis files for format. Set it to the correct folder that you want to save it into, and that's the right one. And down here, set your sample rate at 48,000 hertz. This is the same sample rate that the other soundtrack files are using. And then just choose export. And that's all there is to it. Let's close that down. And here's our new AUG file. Now you need to do this for all of these songs that you want to be replacing in the background music. So have them all set to go and you may need to be replacing a lot of songs. Let me bring up a text file that I have. You can download this from my website. I'll bring that up. Here's my website. Let's go over here to Minecraft Downloads. And in here, right there, Music List 121. It's an RTF or rich text file. Click on that to download. And it'll save it into our same working folder. Choose Save. Okay, that's taken care of. There it is. Let me open this up. And this lists the music that's played inside of Minecraft. Now, you need to know a little bit about how this works. This is in sections. In the top one up here, this is the creative section you can see right here. And it has these six songs. The names were changed on these. These used to be called Creative 1 through Creative 6. You know, Creative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. They've now changed these over to having the actual name of the song in here. So if you have an older pack, it's going to have the wrong names. You need to change the name. Something else which just changed here is that we now have more songs that play in creative, not just these six. Once it also play our regular songs from the regular game. So all these songs may play in the background if you're playing in creative. If you're playing in the regular game, kind of the same thing happens except in a few spots. That's the end right here. Once the dragon shows up, hitting the boss, once you get to the credits, alpha plays. And then down here at game, this is all the back music that can play any place in the game. Now, some of the areas may have some additional music like we have in the menu here. There's a lot more music showing in the menu. Notice that a lot of these are the same songs up here from the game songs. So if you wanna change the menu, you'll have to change all of this stuff or it's not gonna work. And if you take all this stuff out, it'll still grab something up here from the game. So keep that in mind that this stuff could play any place inside the game at any time. If you wanna have your own soundtrack, it means changing all of the songs inside of the game. Now what I did was to take my AUG file, right click and let's make a copy of that, and then right click and paste, right click and paste. So I have several copies of the AUG file, then go into my music list, and then grab one of these names, right click and copy, and then come in here and then just change this name, right click and paste, to the name of one of those songs. Do it again here, do the next one, right click and copy, come in here, click into the name, right click and paste. And I now have 
two of those songs. And I went ahead and did this for all of the songs I needed for this resource pack. So all the songs, even though they have different names, they're all the same song. So let's take a look at our resource pack now. I'm going to Creative Music. This is where I'm building the pack inside of here. Now once you're at this level, you need a pack.png file. The default one is that grass block thing, but you can make your own. Here's how easy it is to make a pack.png file. I'm inside of paint.net right now, which is a free download. And I have this picture I found on an image site. Let's go up here to image, come down to canvas size. The first thing is you want to make sure that this is square. Okay, width and height are the same. So that's fine. It's a square image. And then go up here to image, come down to resize. And in here, we need to change our size. It needs to be either at 128 by 128, which is like that. That's a small size. And this is usually all you need. You can go as high if you want to as 256 by 256. Gives you a lot more detail. Doesn't really matter. You only see these things just when you're loading in the pack. But if you're sharing your pack, it's a nice thing to have. I normally have my resampling set at nearest neighbor to keep the hard edges in there. Choose OK. And then simply save it out as pack.png. File, save as. Here's our working folder. And we'll just rename this one. And it's pack.png and it's a PNG file. And that's all you have to do. I'll stick with the one that I've already made though, so we can close this out. You need a pack.mc meta file. This used to be included in the vanilla resource pack. They've stopped doing that. So I put all these up on my website. Let me show you where that is. Get back on the website. Right here it says Minecraft pack MC meta. Open this up. Here's the current code. If you want to look at the code, that's it. But all you have to do is just come over here and download the correct MC meta file for your version of Minecraft. Notice these versions here, left-hand side, and the format number I have over here on the right-hand side. You can kind of see where everything is. That's the one that I'm using right now. This comes down as a zip file. Just unzip it and you get the file inside. Let's go ahead and do that. Click on the pack that you need. You get to download window and I'll save it back into my pack folder right here. Choose save. That's done. Let's now go and unzip that. Here we go. I'm going to right click on this and open it in a new window. And there's the pack MC meta file right there. Let's drag it over here. Close that down. And there it is. Then I took that and I just dragged it over here inside of my folder that I'm building the pack inside of right there. Now I like to edit these things in Notepad++. It's a free code editor. Great for this kind of work. Let's bring this up. Here we go. Again, not much in here. All you need to change if you want to is the description. I just have mine saying creative music. So that's all set to go. Okay, then we need to have our folders. There's a bunch of folders in this one. The first one is assets. Let's go inside of assets. Put a Minecraft folder inside of that assets folder. Go inside of Minecraft. Make a sounds folder. Go inside of the sounds folder. Make a music folder. Go inside of the music folder. Make a game folder. Like I said, a lot of folders. Inside of the game folder, here's where all of your music goes, unless it's a special case. The creative stuff goes in a creative folder over here. Stuff in the nether goes in a nether folder. So there are some special cases. Let me bring back up that text file and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. We'll just back up to the pack, open this text file up, and you can see the paths right here. So in front of this would be assets, Minecraft, and then sounds, music, and game. This would be assets, Minecraft, and then sound, music, game, creative for the creative section. I put that first part right here, just in case you need to have that as a reference. We come down a little bit. It's all the end stuff goes into an end folder. And then further on down here, nether stuff goes into a nether folder. Some of the special areas in the nether go into their own folder. such as nether and then soul sand valley has its own folder. Crimson forest has its own folder. Come down a bit further, all the badland stuff just, just goes into game. All the rest of these things, I think, just go into just game. Okay, back over here to our folders again. So your music all goes inside of here. And what I did here was I used the same music file and I simply duplicated it and put that jazz in Paris into all of these and changed the name so these all now match. Now, if you don't see that dot .og, make sure you see that. Go up here to the view menu, come down here to show, and you want to check file name extensions. So you see the .og, make sure that's in there. I did the same thing also inside of Creative. I took all of these songs. This is just that same Jazz in Paris song, copied out and then renamed to all the different names that are used inside of the Creative section. So with all of this stuff, I'll now have just that one song playing. No matter what Minecraft grabs, it'll be playing just that one song. So it's a good way to test this out. I can then go back in and change the ones that I want to change later on, but this will get the whole pack working for us. 
Okay, let's go back out here to Assets and Creative Music. So there we go. This is all set to go. We have all of our folders, we have our PAC MC Meta, and we have our PAC PNG. Now there are two ways to do this. One, you can do this inside of a folder like this and leave it unzipped. That works and that's good if you're changing things a lot, which I'm doing here. If you're done and you're sure about the pack, then it's better to come in here and take these things and then just zip this all up into a zip file. And to do this in Windows 11, just select all of your files, right click, compress to zip file. It'll bring all that in, give it a new name. I'll just call this one custom music. And there's the zip. You can then install this into the game. But we're not doing that this time around. We'll be using this unzipped folder instead so I can go back and easily make changes in the future. We can now put this inside of the game. So for that, I'll bring up the launcher. This is the easy way to do this. Go to installations over here, click on that folder. And there it is, that easy. If you're not using the regular Minecraft launcher, using something else, here's a different way that you can get into that same folder location. Just open up a drive window, click into the address bar up here and type in percent app data percent and then go into the Minecraft folder. And here you are, same location. In here, scroll down and you find a resource packs folder right here, open this up. And right here is where your resource pack goes. I'll just right drag it over here and copy. There it is. Again, I'm leaving this as just a folder so that I can come back in and make changes real easy without zipping it up. Normally it's better to zip because it will load a bit faster and your game is smaller that way, but this works as well. Okay, that's in the game. Let's hit play and let this load up Minecraft. Now here's my custom menu screen. Let's come down here to Options, Resource Packs, and it's right over here. Now, if it's on the left-hand side like this, just click that arrow, bring it to the right-hand side, choose Done, choose Done again. Let's go into the game, and here's my main world. Okay, we're back into the game. And then there's usually a little bit of a wait right now before the song starts. So I'll just put the video on pause here for a second. I'll wait for it to start. As soon as it does, I'll bring the video right back up again so we can double-check, make sure the pack is working for us. And there we go, that was pretty fast. So the pack's working, we're now in creative and we're hearing that nice background sound. I don't know which track it chose, but they're all the same song now, so no problems. There it is, that's all you have to do to change the background music instead of Minecraft 1.21. And again, this is the Java version. If you like this video, hit that like button, click on subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications so you don't miss any videos in the future. And I'll see you next time.